Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I like to make my fish and chips. So in case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alright guys, so instead of making a tater sauce, we're going to be making a jalapeno sauce. Just because I'm not really a big fan of tater sauce. So we're going to begin by mixing 8 ounces of sour cream. Two tablespoons of mayo, the juice of half a lemon. We're going to add one tablespoon of jalapeno juice. We're also going to be adding jalapenos and dill. We're going to be seasoning with garlic salt, a little salt and black pepper. Mix it all together. And once everything is well mixed, taste it for salt and see if you want to adjust it. And just like that, we have our sauce. So now we're going to place it in the refrigerator while we make our fish and chips. Okay, so we're going to get our oil hot. So I have my pot. I'm just going to be adding peanut oil. So about two inches and set it on medium heat. So we're going to be using two pounds of white fish. Here I already have mine ready. I cut it into about an inch thick. And for my potatoes, they've been soaking in an ice cold water bath and they're already nice and cut. So we're just going to drain the water and pat it all dry. So we're going to pat dry our fish. And we're going to season with garlic salt. And black pepper. So now we can set our fish to the side and get ready to make our beer batter. Okay, so for our beer batter, we're going to be mixing half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of instant corn masa. We're going to be adding half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of oregano, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So just mix it. Okay, we're going to beat one egg. Add it to the mixture. And now we're going to be adding 12 ounces of beer or you can use water. And just mix it as you're pouring. Okay, so just keep mixing until you no longer see any clumps. And you want your batter to be not too thick or too runny. And once we have that, it's ready. So we can set it to the side and get our potatoes ready. Okay, so I'm just going to drain all of the water and the ice. So now we're just going to pat them dry. Okay, and once ready, we can begin frying. Okay, so we're going to begin by frying the potatoes. And just make sure that you set your oven to the lowest setting. So like that when the potatoes are done, we can transfer them there while we fry the fish. And just fry your potatoes in batches. Okay, so after seven minutes, we're going to remove our french fries from the oil. Okay, and we're just going to sprinkle a little salt and black pepper and place them in the oven. Okay, and continue frying the rest of the potatoes. Alrighty guys, so once we're done frying all of our potatoes, now it's time to fry the fish. So just grab a pick or a fork and just mix your batter. Grab your fish and dip it into the batter. Just like that. Just like that. Shake the excess and begin frying until it's nice and golden. Okay, so we're going to be frying for about seven minutes or until they're nice and golden. All right guys, so once our fish is nice and golden, we're going to remove it from the oil and just continue repeating the process to the rest of the fish. Alrighty guys, and once we have our fish, we can get our fries out and get ready for the fun part. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I already have my fries out. Now we're just going to grab our fish. And look at that. Serve it with some lemon. Grab our jalapeno sauce. And just like that, serve and enjoy. 
Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now, of course, you guys, when you make this, you wanna make sure that you enjoy it as soon as, you know, it leaves the oil. But I am so ready, so I hope you give this recipe a try and enjoy it just as much. It's seriously super easy, it's fast, and the best. So cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's so good. And of course, if you want to make tater sauce instead of the jalapeno sauce, you can of course just do that by keeping just no sour cream, only mayo. And instead of the jalapeno, use radish. But let me tell you that this sauce is just perfect combination. So good. Mm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how I like to make my fish and chips. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.